so this is another haul video, sorry I'm throwing them at you, but this is more for back to school school supplies. Um, I am very late <laughs> at kind of doing this video because um, I know a lot of people who have gone back to school or college, um, but obviously for university students, unless you're in the States, I'm not sure you might be back or not, but um, currently university here in the UK haven't got quite gone back yet so I've pretty much picked up a few things over the past I don't know a couple of months and I finally sort of finished everything there's a couple of things that aren't here because they're actually somewhere else and I can't find them at the moment which is quite bad um, so yes but they're just basically graph paper and lined paper lined paper is just little squares of square paper, it might be called square paper, I'm not 100% sure, but I've got graph paper and square paper um, from WH Smiths, but I'm not sure where they are, so. But I pretty much got things from all over the place, um, and it's just all in this bag currently. <sighs> I have reused a few little bits, but not a lot. Um, before I start, I might just <laughs> tell you what the random things I've got. I've actually cut up old um, broken uh, divider, like uh, folded dividers and I've cut them into squares. Um, if you're low on money and there's no point in buying like loads of little notes um, and you want flashcards, that's the easiest thing to do. So these are literally my coloured flashcards. I do remember the colours and things like that. So. And I've got a periodic table this is actually from my university, or the university I will be studying at, so the University of Surrey, so yeah. Um, it's going to be coming in hand, it's going to be handy for when I need it. So I just thought I'd add those little bits in. Um, so first that I've got is sticky notepads. Um, all different sizes. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where my pink one's gone, I've just literally got one left. Uh, I think it's dropped off somewhere. Um, so yes, these have hole punches in, so you can put them in your folder and uh, the green ones falling off. They're not very sticky to the board. Um, you've got the tabs, which are great. I find them great to put in books, to like mark them where there's important things while the teacher's talk, the tutor's talking and stuff. There are big ones to kind of put on your laptop or whatever, and then size one, small one, just a range of them so that you have like a few to kind of help you. Uh, you could decide like different colours for different things or different sizes for different things or you just want one straight away. So this is great. I think I got this in WH Smith or maybe it was somewhere else. It was either WH Smith or Ryman's. So yeah. And it comes in handy. It's great. I did have another one. I don't know where it's gone though. Um, oh, what was that? Oh, look, I found some more yellow. What is this? Um, from WH Smiths, I picked up some coloured card. Um, you're probably thinking, why the hell have I got coloured card? Seems I'm going to university. But, um, I did a photography module last time I went to university and I used these as backing my um, photos and you can use these for anything I mean there's yellow, orange, green, red and blue and I've got some white paper in there as well but this is just great for kind of like making your own note like flashcards or leaving notes around like you can stick a poster up on the wall or whatever but it's just great to kind of visually help you so picked up those bad boys I've not got a clue where, oh my god, there's a mark. Dog sleep on the fan. Um, I've also got three uh, notebooks or notepads. Um, these are 100 sheet refills. I thought they were more than that. Oh no, they were 100. Um, and these are the narrow lines. So they are a lot smaller than your regular lines. Um, and these were from Ryman's. At the moment, Ryman's are doing um, 
three for two. Um, so, God, how much was it? Like three pounds something for three. So it wasn't such a, it wasn't a bad deal at all. Um, and it was like one of my screens. Um, so yes, I just picked up a bunch of A4 ones because I make a lot of notes and people just can't understand why I make so many notes, but I do. So I've got myself some of these. I might have to buy more of them though. Um, I got myself, or I got this for Christmas uh, last year, but uh, it's just a mug, you know hot and cold drinks if you wished um, and this is a Uber uh, mug and believe it or not this actually cools if you put cold drink in it keeps it cold and it keeps it cold for 12 hours and if you put hot drink in here it will change itself so it's hot it keeps hot in and it keeps it hot for six hours if you've had something hot in here and then you put something cold in here, you actually hear it freeze in the inside. So there is something in there that actually makes it work. So great for on the run. <laughs> I picked up these pen highlighters. This um, because I like to highlight. <laughs> Um, you, it comes sort of like with this weird little stand, so it can stand up like that, and it's just a pink, orange, green and yellow, I'll just give you an idea of what they look like, it's just like a normal pen, but it's a highlighter, and I actually got this for 99p at my corner, like my local corner shop, um, but you can buy these in WH Smiths and things like that, but they are slightly more than 99p. Um, so yeah, these are just amazing, and I'm just obsessed with like highlighting and things like that. Got a ruler. Um, I'm I really don't know why I have a ruler, but you can buy these WH Smiths. I picked up a stapler from WH Smiths. Um, just literally the basic stapler you can get because I didn't think I needed any fancy fancy one. To go with that, oh I think I got that from Tesco's, see the staples are from Tesco's, so there you go, I got, that. got it from Tesco's with a pack of 2,000 staples. So I think I've used some of these though, yeah because it didn't come with any staples. Um, pack of staples! I also have this snazzy hole punch. Now, where did I get you from? Now, I'm pretty sure I got this from WH Smiths, um, but basically it does A6 to A4 paper. It's got this like little gauge on it. And it actually has a lock on the side. Not that I'm sure why you'd want to lock it like that. I guess to save room. And it lets you know when it's kind of locked or not locked, it knows for some reason. Uh, and this actually comes off so that you can empty it if you need to. You need to put your name on it, but it actually seems dark. So yes. Hot punch because plain paper needs hot punching. Now my last thing are oh, pencil pencils. Um, this is a pencil case, it's an old pencil case, um, but they're still selling these type of pencil cases in WH Smiths, if you were wondering, but it's like a makeup bag type one. And I got this one, which is a makeup bag from Primark. Uh, this is quite an old makeup bag, sorry. Um, but yes. Um, so in here, in the big one, I actually have two Prit sticks, and these Prit sticks I would suggest anyone getting they are so much better than normal print sticks. These are the power print sticks and these are extra strong and they are super strong at sticking anything you want, anything. Um, I spent hours gluing stuff when I was at uni before and I only used these because I did use normal print sticks and they were crap. So these were fab. I would suggest those ones and they have no 
innocent, so here's what we're gonna sniff out stuff. Um, I picked up these uh, gel pen pens from WH Smiths because um, I like to write in other colours for important things so they can stand out. So they're just basic gel pens. Um, I also got this handwriting pen. Um, these classic handwriting pens uh, from WH Smiths. Um, I got it in a two pack. And I believe the other one is used, I'm not 100% sure there. Um, I also picked up these, oh, there's loads of them so I'm only going to pick up a couple. Uh, these Sharpies, and they are the thick marker Sharpies. Um, and I picked up a massive pack, and I think they were about £10 or something, £14. Maybe they were £20, I really don't know. I should really keep my packaging to help you guys. Um, but yes, they come in just amazing colours. I love this colour. Just saying. Um, what else do I have here? Oh, I have these type of pens, which are, again, uh, these are like felt tip uh, coloured pens. Uh, felt tip. Like a felt tight liner tip. Um, and they're great for like writing, hand writing in different colours. Almost like the gel pens, but different. Like, they're like this but the size of a gel pen. Um, I've also got these, um, and I got these from Paper Mania. Um, I believe I got these in the range. Um, the glitter pens. <laughs> I got a few colours. Um, you don't blow them, though it looks like you do. Um, but this is just a dark blue one. And basically, you push it down, and then it gets the colour onto the tip. Uh, gets the colour on the tip and then you're away and it's all glittery and colourful and amazing and that was great for one of my projects. At uni last time, I have no idea what I have in here. Oh, pencils. And more gel pens. Um, right, I have, I picked up from WH Smith a pack of these pens. They're just basic ballpoint black pens because I prefer to write in black. I believe it or not, a lot of um, exams and things expect you to write in black ballpoint pen, so I got loads of those. I also have a selection of pencils. I think probably it in this one. Yes, a selection of pencils. These are actually arts pencils, so they I've got HB1 and H2H1. Uh, this is the 2H. The HB one. Obviously, in exams, you need the HB one, but I also have other pencils because they do other things, especially in artwork. I'm not doing art, so that seems stuff, but I use pencils uh, for work and things, especially for drawing pictures because we have to do diagrams and things like that. If you're wondering what course I'm doing, I'm actually doing a vet course, so. And I've got like chemistry and things like that I'm doing. Crazy, right? Why would you need to do so much? Um, and in my little one, I have this dual sharpener, which I have used, sorry, and I got this from WH Smiths. It's just a, a large sharper and a small, and it's got this container, so you don't have to worry about the shavings. It's a little dirty, but it works. I also picked up a rubber, but that's got dirty since it's been in my pencil case, and it's just the basic rubber you can get. Um, I have these big highlighters, I got these from Ryman's, um, though I find these run out quite quickly. Obviously it's a pink one, because everyone loves pink. Again in here I've got my basic black ballpoint pens. Handwriting pen because I like to have a variety of sort of pens for some reason. Um, my gel pens and my felt pens, felt tip tiny tip pens, um, sharpies and pencils. And I always have a couple like in here. Ooh, I have a couple of 
couple of things in here because you don't want to run out and you want to help people if they run out. If that makes any sense. Um, so yes, that is what stationery I have. Um, but I'm also going to be taking like this pen and a couple of other random pens that I have lying around um, because I can. Um, I'm also taking ooh, some zebra notebooks that were from W. Smith's. Yes. And they're just these wire A5 ones um, and they are lined in the inside and these are so super handy for like jotting quick things down and I've even got a little diary ready so that I can because my timetable changes from week to week so I've actually written stuff down in here and it's also got notes to do lists um, address book and other bits as well so this is really handy I would suggest buying a diary for like college and university because you'll find that it's just so much more handy and finally the last thing actually in my little haul and supplies um, is a five year diary now you're probably thinking that's just super random but I got this from the works for five pounds um, it's pink and I only can find a pink one um, it used to be 12 99 but I, it, it's now five pounds and it's a five year diary obviously that's what I said where you put your name in it and things and then it starts January First, and it says 2000 or yeah 2000 but you have to put what the thing is after it um, it does say in it it's a great gift for people but I'm actually using this because um, I on the 19th of September I will be with my partner my fiance for five years and we considering in the next couple like five years to get a house, have children and things like that and I thought it would be nice to kind of see my life pan out within five years and look back at things and um, my life at university again and I thought that it would be a great idea to kind of write things down and it's kind of like a, the, the kind of a line, a sentence a day kind of books but it's, it's far cheaper um, and it, it's exactly the same. And I just thought it would just be so sweet to actually see where we are through our relationship and like marriage, house, babies, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm actually looking forward to filling this out and my first entry I want to make on the 19th of September, so our five year anniversary. So then, five years from then, will be our 10th anniversary. Oh my gosh! So yes, that is ugh, my little kind of school supplies. Video, even though it's slightly late I am sorry for those who've gone to school already um, but yes that is everything and that's most of the stuff that I'm taking for university apart from obviously books and things like that <sighs> so yes that is everything and I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you like this video I will see you like this video give it a thumbs up um, subscribe if you're not um, leave me a comment down below I guess um, and I'll see you guys later.